Since 2011, NASA has been developing the next step in human space exploration. The Space Launch System, otherwise known as the SLS, is set to make its maiden flight in late 2021. But why was this huge rocket designed? And will it take mankind to the stars? Stay tuned as we explore the world's most powerful rocket here on Elder Fox. Before we go on, consider subscribing to the channel as it helps us put more content on YouTube that interests you. The SLS will be NASA's first super heavy lift launch vehicle in over half a century. Not since the last Saturn V launch in 1973 has such a powerful rocket been used, generating 8.8 .8 million pounds of thrust, roughly 15% more than a Saturn V. The SLS will be able to lift 130 tons of material into low Earth orbit. This ranks the SLS as the most powerful American spacecraft ever made. But why is there a need for such a massive rocket? With the retirement of the space shuttles in 2011, NASA and the United States have been without a flagship vehicle for almost a decade. Instead, the U.S. has had to rely on other rockets, such as the Russian-made Soyuz spacecraft, to transport astronauts and equipment beyond our atmosphere. This problem, however, is soon to have a mighty solution. The Space Shuttle's replacement is finally here, and when placed side by side to its predecessor, it's clear to see the visual and structural similarities. Much of the technology used in the new rocket was derived from the Space Shuttle program. Most notably, the core stage is strikingly similar to the Space Shuttle's external tank, and even uses modified RS-25 engines left over from the Space Shuttle program. Also recycled are the famous solid rocket boosters, which will provide most of the initial thrust during liftoff. During its first successful ground test on March 18, 2021, engines on the rocket's core stage were kept running for more than eight minutes, simulating the time it would take the SLS to go from ground to space. A massive exhaust plume expanded from the test area as the engines shook the ground. The cloud was so enormous, it was spotted from space by satellite. Once assembled, the SLS will tower 23 stories above the launch pad, making it taller than the Statue of Liberty. NASA recently published these real images of the first assembled SLS, displaying the sheer size of the ferocious rocket for all to see. So what will these colossal rockets be used for? The SLS will become the primary launch vehicle of NASA's deep space exploration plans throughout the 2020s, including the planned crewed lunar flights of the Artemis program, as well as the possible follow-up human missions to Mars. Sending humans back to the moon will require a lot of material, a requirement met by the SLS's heavy lifting capability. In its current configuration, the SLS can send more than 27 tons to lunar orbit, equivalent of 11 large SUVs. A future version of the SLS, called Block 2 Cargo, will launch 46 tons to the moon. That's a whopping 18 large SUVs. Later versions of the SLS will likely be utilized by the Artemis program to deliver Gateway, a space outpost orbiting the moon. This will serve as a communication hub, science laboratory, and holding area for equipment required on the lunar surface. Gateway will also be used by future manned missions to Mars, where it will act as a staging point for vehicles traveling to and from our red neighbor. Artemis 1, the first SLS mission, is due to lift off in November 2021. During the launch, the SLS will burn through 700,000 gallons of propellant, consisting of liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. When these are fed to the engines, the propellants are at more than 200 degrees Fahrenheit below zero, but they burn at 6,000 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to boil iron. The resulting exhaust exits engine nozzles at speeds of 10,000 miles per hour, generating the astronomical thrust which propels the spacecraft through the air. 
From here, the uncrewed Artemis I will orbit the moon and return to Earth, demonstrating the spacecraft's capabilities for Artemis II, which will perform the same feat in 2023, though this time with a four-person crew. This will mark the farthest a person has traveled from Earth since Apollo 17 in 1972. Under current plans, the SLS will take humans back to the lunar surface in 2024 as part of the Artemis III mission, where the crew will lay the foundations for a future outpost on the moon. Over time, the SLS project will evolve by incorporating new technologies as updated production blocks enter service. Currently, the record for the most powerful rocket ever produced sits with the Soviet N-1. This behemoth was designed and built as a countermeasure to the American-made Saturn V. However, the rocket was only tested four times, all of which resulted in failure. A future version of the SLS, called the Block II Cargo, will surpass the N-1's thrust levels, making it the world's most powerful rocket of all time when it enters service. However, it won't hold this title for long. Starship, being developed by Elon Musk's company SpaceX, should exceed the power of both the N-1 and the SLS, producing as much as 15 million pounds of thrust, the equivalent power of roughly 50 Boeing 747 jet planes. In fact, by the time this video is out, it's possible that Starship has already launched. At roughly $2 billion per launch, SLS missions won't come cheap but scientific discoveries found as a result of these missions may prove to be invaluable. With mankind's return to the lunar surface on the horizon, the foundations are being laid for the future of space exploration, which will come hand in hand with our understanding of the universe. The SLS can play a pivotal role in this and is therefore a worthy flagship vehicle, justifying its combined project cost of $18 billion. Only time will tell what the SLS-powered Artemis missions will find. Click here to see what happened to Apollo 12 when it was struck by lightning just after liftoff. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell to keep up to date with the latest discoveries. Thanks for watching Elder Fox.